Hey guys, Anthony here with Kiteboarding St. Petersburg and this morning we're going to go over three mistakes that beginners make when learning how to jump. Winds are pretty light, about 10 knots right now. I'm on a 15 meter kite, but that's okay because that is going to be perfect for learning how to first load and pop. So the first mistake beginners make is that they don't truly load and pop. They try to jump with the board and they'll try to jump with the board flat rather than having a heel side carve away from the kite. So I'll show you what not to do. So on that one, I was just trying to jump. I wasn't really using my momentum and creating a heel side carve to swing away from the kite. This time, I'll show you what to do. Come here, you. Bye. So on that one, I didn't even use the kite. I just used my momentum heel side carve. And it's a pop off the back foot, off the off your heel side back foot. Second mistake that beginners make is that they rely solely on the kite to jump. So they don't do that load and pop, that heel side carve. They'll just send the kite up and then try to jump. Let's see what that looks like. If you find yourself overcorrecting the kite, my recommendation is to really focus on those load and pops without using the kite and then slowly incorporate the kite. So on this one, I'm gonna do a load and pop and just keep the kite around 12 o'clock, bring the kite up to around 12 o'clock and pull in as soon as I get out of the water. Let's see what that looks like. So the third mistake is once you get your load and pop kind of dialed in and you get the timing on the kite is then getting overconfident and oversending the kite. Do a jump, but you may pendulum underneath the kite and the kite will be upwind of you and fall out of the sky. Let me try and Missy show you what that looks like. Let's do it. So the third mistake is very similar to that second mistake in the sense that there's a lot of overcorrection and reliance on the kite. So if you feel like you're oversending the kite, put more pressure on your front hand. Or if you feel like you're swinging underneath the kite and that you're traveling a further distance downwind than you are vertically high, then focus on that load and pop. It's all about timing, but it's all about load and pop. So get your load and pop well dialed in and then send the kite. So to put everything together for a kiteboarding jump, what you want to do is you'll be riding along moderate speed, send the kite up. As the kite is going up, swing and carve away from the kite with the board, do your load and pop. And as the board gets out of the water, pull in on the bar and the kite should be around 12 o'clock and that's how you do your boost. Let's take a look at what that is. Here we go. Water. 